Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today I've got another as the haul. Um, I'm just gonna start over here. And bring you over here, I don't wanna move too quick. Um, right, so I'm gonna start off with my household items that I picked up. There is one more just over in the corner hidden over there, I just noticed. We got some um, heavy duty sponge scourers, 10 pack. We use these for all sorts. Uh, so I just get a nice big pack of these. I've got one of these citrus candles. Can't tell you what it smells like, but I will tell you now. <sighs> yeah, very grapefruity. That's obviously the reason for the grapefruit on the front. Yeah, really nice. Don't know what it smells like when it's burning yet. I got some of these aerial all-in-one pods. Um, they were on offer, I think, about £5.50. 50 or something like that um 432 so i picked those up we needed some of these um that was the best deal i could find for that many of them um i got 40 of these toilet fresh wipes Ooh. i've never seen the flashable sign in there before um right okay so you've got some shades, um, toilet rolls. I only got 12 this week. I usually get more. Um, I usually order my toilet rolls off of Amazon, to be fair. So, but I just picked those ones up today. I'm just going to move them down so that you can see what else there is. I also picked up some salmon. This is obviously my fresh meat. Got some salmon, some chicken breast fillets. What does that say? That is a kg of it. £5.39 for those. I got some Cumberland sausages just for sandwiches and stuff during the week. Some frying steaks. These are quite nice. We like um, frying these with a bit of pepper and a little bit of butter in our um, non-stick pan. That's really, really nice. Um, I got some pizza dough. Last week we made pizzas. They came up really nice with this. So I got some more because the kids enjoyed doing it. Um, we got some broccoli, some watercress, spinach and rockets. As I say, that's my favourite from the last time that I showed you. Um, we got some iceberg lettuce, some Philadelphia light this week. I don't know what this one's going to taste like. I usually like a Philadelphia. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to be more sort of healthy. Um, and so is my husband. So I thought maybe this, <laughs> it might do us some good. So I got some lightness. Um, I got some honey roast ham, some mixed peppers, some grated cheddar, nice big bag. Um, so we got some lettuce, some fresh double cream. It's just the 500 ml. I'm gonna make a quiche with that. I didn't make one last week, so I'm going to be making that this week. Um, some grapes, some strawberries and some clover butter. This is the big one. It was on offer for £2 and it was something like £1.80 or 90 for the smaller one. So why not? Um, I got some Danish pepperoni for our pizza, some carrots, um, a cucumber <laughs> words escape my head we got some fruits some uh just of the asdas from our phrase these are actually um 80 pence but my kids love them and um sort of don't complain about them any less or more than the um what are they called the wildlife ones or the uh petty for lose. so you know they're absolutely fine um we've got some greek uh style uh, fat-free yogurt we use this with um like some granola in the mornings me and my husband we have some oranges apples and bananas in there i've got some miller lights i did get um eight in total but it was only these flavors so i didn't see the point in sprawling them out across the thing to take up space so i can show you other things but we've got the vanilla with dark chocolate sprinkles we got banana and custard flavor we got cherry flavor some mozzarella for our pizza we got um, one of these peanut butters the whole earth i had this last time and it was really really nice um i actually just prefer the kind of um holy taste to it it's, it's it, it really does taste you can taste the difference between this and the sort of say as this 
own one or whatnot you can really taste um it's, it's it is just basically crushed peanuts in there you know it's, it is what it is it's nice um <clears throat> strawberry conserve um we had the raspberry one last week uh, it was absolutely lovely it had like you could see all the little sort of bits of um, fruit in there and everything and it was really sort of um, delicious so i went for the strawberry one this week we got some of this sweet freedom stuff i've seen a lot of people talking about this so i thought i'd give it a go sweet freedom choc pot chocolate spread and there's meant to be only so many calories in it less than oh, 75 percent less fat and half of the calories in of the leading chocolate spread what is the leading one? Who knows? But hey, hey, there we go. We have some orange juice. We have some of this blue spark. I've had some of this before. It is really, really nice. Um, guava, pineapple, apple and blue sp spirulina. What is that? Right. Okay. Yeah, um, I've had this before. There's a little bit of coconut water in there, which I really, really like with that because um, I enjoy coconut water. So... There we go. I'm going to give that a go. I thought that I'd get this this week. So it looked really interesting for the kids to make as they're off. A Clyde the Caterpillar cake kit. I have no idea how we're going to make it into these shapes. Absolutely no idea. But we'll try. And it probably won't end up looking like Clyde, but we'll have to give it a different name. Right. Uh, we've got some Banana Angel Delight and some Raspberry Jelly just for the kids to do something else. We have some Aunt Bessie's Bake at Home Yorkshire's. Had those last week. They were actually really nice. I know I could just make them myself a bit better, but they were on offer for a quid. So I just thought, why the heck not? Because the flour tends to come, um, well, tends to not come, should I say, um, because it's always out of stock. So there we go. Um, we've got some beef mince frozen, a nice big bag of that some jam jam and creams um, some jaffa cakes oc crumbles oreos and marylands some tuna skips and cheetos some of these cereal bars just for snacking on um summer berries one and a chocolate and fudge one they're only 85p and they're quite i've had these before they're quite similar to like this the um cereal bars that you get like the special k and whatnot with the um fruits and that in it <laughs> excuse me i got some latte macchiatos and some chococinos it's for the dolce gusto um some british baby potatoes that's my other cleaning product that i had over here and this uh jay's fluid we just need this to go over um the lawn because oh there he is our doggy has been doing lots of messes and we just want to wash it down because obviously we have the kids play out there and everything. We're going to um, actually, uh, what's it, we're going to make a fence that sort of divides the garden a little bit so that the dog can go into a little bit and the kids into a bit because it's just, we, we sort I know people don't mind, but personally for me, I don't really like having the kids um, running over and playing over onto the bit where the dog does his poos and peas. So um, I'm going to uh, clear it up, wash it down with some Jay's fluid. And um, we're going to stick up like a little, little um, probably like leg length. Um, and I'm only five foot, two and a half, by the way. <laughs> leg length um, fence. So that it just divides them, gives them both some space. Right. Um, we've got some caramel rice cakes and some salt and vinegar rice cakes. Kitchen towel, because we need that with any spillages um, for the kids and the dog. Um, I got one of these. Um, I thought it was quite interesting. I've never seen it before. It must be new. Um, a Nando's Peri Peri meal kit. Um, yeah, I thought that that looked interesting for me to make and to have the kids join in with me. So there we go, makes it in 30 minutes, easy to use. Sounds good to me. Um, we've got some soups, vegetable soup, minestrone, chicken, rice pudding, beef ravioli and cream of tomato soup. We have some passata, that's to go on our pizza. Um, some chunky veg tomato pasta sauce, some sweet chili sauce, some onions, sweet potatoes, 
white potatoes. Going up here, we have some multi-grain hoops, same thing as Cheerios. Um, some white and wheat, so 50-50 bread, and eight rolls. Um, frosted shreddies, whole wheat penne. We had this last week with um, a different flavour to this, but one of these. And I stuck in some sort of um, spinach uh, and um, a little bit of sweet corn. And that came out really, really nice. Um, we had it, you know, for our lunch. And even my sort of husband come over and said he fancied a bit of that. And um, he said that that was lovely. So, yeah, I'll give that a go, guys, because it's so cheap. I mean, that's like 50 pence. This was only about 50 pence. And, you know, a handful of sweet corn, a handful of um, spinach, mix it all in. Jobs are good in. It's really tasty. We've got some um, free range eggs, some shepherd's pie mix. Because it's Father's Day um, on Sunday, I got my husband a uh, Ballantines. Ballantines, I'm sure that's what that says. Um, finest blended scotch whiskey and some strawberry diet cake. And the only other thing that I have to show you is my dogs haul <laughs> which i don't know if this has ever been shown before but um there we go just in case you have a doggy and you would like to know yourself um we have some of these they were reduced to five pounds so if you are shopping in as is have a little look um you've got 24 of the radio duos and four of these jumbones so that works out really good um i got him two of these rawhide bones he likes to have something to chew on he's only seven months old so he needs something to keep him busy because otherwise we get other things nibbled on we have some bisque rock gravy bones these are the ones that we like to take out on walks with us because obviously they're less um uh shall we say wet they're just um something that can sort of be pulled out your pocket and put put back in the box if you haven't used them um we have some of these hero adult meat tins. I don't actually just solely feed him on this. He has his, um, what do you call it, kibble, you call it kibble, don't you? Um, biscuits um, as his main thing. And I get him a bag of that. Um, he has the wag chicken one, he's his favourite. So he has that. And then I sometimes give him this in a little bit as well. So that it's just something different for him we have some of these these look really tasty i almost fancy them myself they are uh, wag treats cookies with peanut butter and banana that actually sounds quite edible for me um i'm not going to though don't worry we have some filled bones british beef marrow bones oh there we go you can see it there um I just thought I'd get in those as, as a sort of a change. This is a monthly haul, by the way, um, just as a change from one of these. So you can sort of have one and then one of them the next week, one of them and then one of them the next week. Um, and then some of these meaty stick rich in beef twisty stick things made with 42 percent chicken and beef made in the uk fantastic there we go and that is the doggy's haul and as you can see he is quite teased by that so i'm going to have to give him something would you fancy freddie huh what do you fancy what one? Oh, looks like he's got the ump with me so yeah i'm gonna have to come off now and say goodbye and i will see you in the next one take care bye